Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how you can use NativeScript to build powerful native applications with Convey. NativeScript allows developers to build truly native mobile applications with Angular, TypeScript, or JavaScript. NativeScript is open source and licensed under the same Apache 2 software license that Convey uses. The combination of Convey and NativeScript gives you greater flexibility on the client side, allowing you to leverage best-of-breed technologies on the front end and the back end. Before I get started, I just want to highlight that we have updated the Dev Center to include a full set of documentation on NativeScript. I'll show you how you can easily leverage the code provided there to accelerate app development. So I have this app that's running on a physical iOS device, but since NativeScript is truly a cross-platform framework, I could just as easily have built this for Android using the same code base. So let's first take a look at authentication and authorization. For your native script applications, Convey can be the identity provider for any consumer identities that would not live in some enterprise identity provider. So if we go and look in the Dev Center, we can go to Guides, and we can go to Users. And there's a section on Login. <clears throat> and I literally just copied and pasted this into my code behind. And so if we look at that on the device, I can log in with my consumer identity using convey auth, which is OAuth2 based. But if I go back and log out, what if you're building an app that needs to log in users from an enterprise identity provider? So on-premise AD, Azure AD, Ping, Okta, SiteMinder, whatever it might be. You can hook into any enterprise identity provider just as easily as you saw me use Convey Auth through our mobile identity connect. In this case, I'm going to hook into Ping Identity, and with one single line of code on the client, Convey is going to take care of all the authentication and authorization. So if I click Sign In with Mick, we'll see we get presented with the Ping's login screen. I'll just put in my credentials. And when I sign in, I'll get redirected to the home page. So that was, you're probably thinking, well, to, to set up an integration into some enterprise system of record, it's probably pretty difficult. But with Convey, it's, it's literally just a single line of code. So if I go back into the Dev Center and look at the Mobile Identity Connect reference guide, there's a section entitled Authenticating with Mobile Identity Connect. And if I open this and go scroll down just a bit, I, all I did was copy and paste this code into my code behind. I literally didn't have to know the, the backend enterprise identity provider that I was connect, connecting to. I didn't have to understand anything about the underlying protocol. In this case, it was SAML redirect. I didn't have to know anything other than, you know, just copy and paste this into my code behind. Um, okay, so now that I've been redirected to my home screen, I'm pulling this logo and tagline from our file store. So Convey can store files like images or PDFs, Word documents, streaming video, um, and any associated metadata for your native script app. Uh, pulling content from the file store is really easy, just like we've seen in the past. Um, so if I go into the Dev Center again and look at files, and I look at query, it will show me how to query for the files. And you can either do an explicit query or if you pass null or nothing to the find method, it will pull all the file entities from the file store. In terms of pulling data from Convey, I can go to my wellness screen, and I can see that I'm pulling this data from a Convey collection. So this is my wellness collection, and we can see that I'm, I'm pulling all of this data from there. So Convey can be the data store for your native script apps. Um, you can spin up these data stores on demand and you can define whatever data model you like. Um, performing basic CRUD operations on the data store is, is as easy as copying the lines from the, of code from the Dev Center like we've seen in the past. So if we go to the data store guide, we can see how to perform all the CRUD operations. And just like everything else we've seen, it's really simple to copy and paste this into your code behind. Okay, but what happens if your data does not, if it resides in some enterprise system of record, maybe some relational database or some Hadoop cluster or something like that? Um, under normal circumstances, you'd really need to ensure that you're, you know, that you're accessing the system securely, 
um, that you understand the various legacy protocols and the data formats and, and so forth. But really, Convey eliminates all of this. We have extensive integration capabilities, and we can flip the switch on the back end without changing a single line of code on the client. Now we offer our customers access to a really broad spectrum of data services through Progress's Data Direct. In this case, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily mobilize data from a Postgres database. Uh, we have a new rapid integration into Data Direct, and so now we can offer rapid, no code access to a much broader portfolio of enterprise systems of record. So let me go to my look at my doctors, and you can see that I'm again pulling this from a, a convey collection currently. So I'll go to my doctors collection, and we can see our list of doctors here. But now suppose that uh, this data is not coming from a convey collection. Let's suppose we want to pull this from Postgres. Um, so we're going to go back to our Dev Center. We're going to go to um, you know the fetching portion, so you can see we're we're doing a data store dot find and we're doing a stream dot subscribe. If I look at my code behind, we're actually doing I literally just copied and pasted this code into my um, code behind. And so what what that means now is I can go to that collection and I can go to the settings on that collection, and rather than use the convey data store, I can use a data service. In this case, we have the new rapid data direct connector and it's pointed to Postgres and if I say confirm and then refresh on the client instead of pulling from the convey collection now it's going to leverage data direct to pull data um, from the the Postgres database so if you see I've got a little Postgres client here and it's showing me you know the same fields that we're getting that we're getting back so finally like our data script library, like all of our other libraries, provides very rich support for offline use cases. Um, in, in this case, I'm going to show an example of persisting content to a local data store on the device. So suppose that I'm going to be out in, a, in the field without an internet connection. We see this a lot with field service worker use cases. And I need to persist some records into the local device cache. Um, in order to do this, all I really have to do is leverage the offline capabilities for convey. So if I go Again, look in the data store guide, and one of the sections of the data store guide is this different data store types. We've also got a separate uh, entry in the Dev Center for offline use cases, but I just use the sync store to persist entities locally and then to push them to the back end. So if I actually go to my list of reminders, we currently have three reminders in the convey collection. So let me pull that up. And now what I can do is, when I click this button, I'm going to use the code that was in the Dev Center to persist 200 new entities to the local cache. Um, and so you'll see we're writing those out to the local cache. If I refresh on the client side, you'll see we're not we're not persisting that locally. So, uh, or we are persisting that locally, so it's not getting pushed to the back end. But when I click the sync button, what's going to happen is Convey is then going to do sort of a, it's going to try to push the, the new, net new content from the local store to the back end and it will also do pull any net new records on the back end to the front end. So if I do a, a refresh now, we see 203 records. So the three that we initially started off with and then um, you know the 200 that we synced to the back end. So with native Convey's new native script library, you really get all of the robust client-side features associated with authentication, offline, security, network management, and user management that you've really come to expect from the Convey libraries. And we provide all the documentation and code samples that you need to take advantage of these features. Kind of showed you a, a few of those throughout, but uh, the Dev Center is the way to go, and if you pick native script, you'll, it has all of the information on how to, to interface with Convey. We're, we're, just, we're really excited about these new developments, particularly around giving our customers more flexibility in terms of client-side libraries with our new best-of-breed native script offering and also through greatly expanded integration capabilities for enterprise systems of record through our Data Direct Rapid Connector. If you're ready to get started, you just head on over to the Dev Center. Um, you can actually download the native, our native script SDK from, directly from there. And if you're new to Convey, the Getting Started Guide is a great resource. It will really help you get up and running quickly. Um, it would be a, a great launch point for making five-star mobile apps quickly and under budget. Thank, 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 thank.